Look at that. All right, my brother's gonna take over while I take her out of her eggs and hopefully I don't get bit, which I don't think I will because I'm kind of a pro. What's up, YouTube? How you guys doing? I wanna start off with saying, giving you guys a huge, huge thank you. Guess who I finally got a hold of? Yes, Lord of Line. Finally, after years and, well, maybe like a week or two, but still, I got a hold of him. You know, we chatted up for, for quite some time. Turns out him and I have a lot more in common than I knew that we already had. But um, yeah, we're definitely gonna be working on an awesome future collab. So thank you guys very much. His message was funny, because this morning when I looked it up, he goes, dude, he goes, he goes, hey, what's up, man? I woke up to a lot of uh, DMs saying that you were trying to get a hold of me. So that's pretty funny, man. I mean, that shows you the power of social media. Thank you guys very much. Um, also, where I'm gonna announce the two winners of the shirts that who got the closest, which one of them I already know because he's a really good friend of mine. He's across the, the pond. His name is uh, Craig, AKA the English Lion. Funny how Lord of Lion, then you got the English Lion. But yeah, um, Craig's a very, very cool guy, man. You know, him and I were actually having a, a good laugh right now because we were talking about when uh, Justin Kabelka punked him for the way he sex snakes. I mean, it was probably the funniest thing known to man. I mean, Jesus, we laughed so hard, but it was it was really funny. Um, also, the next person that won was Tice Reptiles. So, Tice, if you could do me a big favor and email me at alwaysvolumepythons at gmail.com or DM me on my Instagram so I can get all your information and send out your shirt. Again, guys, you guys got really close. Craig was at 179 and Tice Reptiles was at one, uh, 183. So you guys were definitely like right there, man. So thank you guys. But now for the huge, huge, humongous, ginormous news. My uh, and my most anticipated clutch of the season, she finally laid. She laid four days earlier. Four days earlier than she was supposed to. And that's a, uh, well, I'll just tell you the female. She's a pastel in cheap hide. But I've been waiting for this for quite some time. So... Let me get a box ready for her, uh, for her eggs real quick, and let's go get um, the eggs out of the mom, and hopefully I don't get bit. And remember guys, my streak is still, oh, zero, zero bites. So let's get going. All right guys, so we have the box ready. As you guys can see, professionally done as always. Now you guys ready to check out this beauty? Cause I am. That beauty right there. <laughs> it's a noggin. <laughs> All right, guys, here we go. Look at that. All right, my brother's gonna take over while I take her out of her eggs, and hopefully I don't get bit, which I don't think I will because I'm kind of a pro. All right, so real quick. I'm just gonna make sure she's empty. And as you guys can see, she really, I mean, you can feel this thing, man. She is, whoa. Oh, guys, I almost lost my streak right now. She bit herself though. All right, so we're gonna put her on the empty bin for right now while I get these eggs. All right, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We got one slug. So that's two slugs for the season. Thanks, big dog. Thanks, big dog. <laughs> Thanks, little big dog. So we have seven healthy looking eggs. Look at this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now I'm gonna go candle them, mark them down, put some teas on them, and slap them inside the incubator. So we just got done candling the eggs. We have them all up in the box. We have seven, as you can see, seven healthy looking eggs very strong strong veins so this is our eighth clutch and this is one of the most six clutches that I've been very very excited about you know definitely I'm definitely hoping to get an inchy yellow belly female so I can hold her back if I get two of them I'll hold two of them back but other than that we have four more snakes ovulating that I'll show you guys right now and we're expected for at least seven to eight more females to lay 
Um, after that, I think I'll be done until next season until I get some other females and my males up to go, up to par, and then we'll go from there. But um, let's go check out these uh, females that are ovulating and then talk a little bit about snakes. This massive ovulation. You guys see that? Look at that. Look how big it is. Alright, I don't mind the mess there too much because I'm very excited about this one. But as you can see, she has a huge, huge belly. Just wanted to give you guys a, a nice little look. It's another clutch that I'm very excited to get. Um, definitely a lot of them are going to be holdbacks. Um, everything's going to be het. Kind of give you guys an idea. But, um, yeah, very happy about that one, so. Next, um, this one, the Sulphur Mojave, she actually just did her shed, so her pre-lay shed. So she'll be expecting in 28 more days. So we'll have a clutch from her. Same with the Olympus Fire. Look at that. That's a big, big girl. So she'll be going into shed for a pre-lay shed pretty soon. So we got her waiting for her pre-lay shed. And then this one right here also. She's going into her pre-lay shed. But she has not eaten anything. And look how big she is. I mean just massive. This girl. We also have the pastel fire inchy oh look she's going into ovulation too see it starts off from right there and it comes all the way right there it's going to get a lot more swollen in the next couple of days keep you guys updated on her pastel inchy okay sir you can see her building as well right down here see the girth on her Nice little Avi on that one. This girl as well is building. She's done breeding. Her follicles are already like a 35, 40 millimeters. She's a lesser clown. She was bred to a spot nose, yellow belly pastel clown. We're gonna be expecting eggs from this one as well. She's around 35 millimeters as well. And then we have the pastel clown. Look at that. Some big girls, right? Let me show you guys one more real quick. So this girl right here, we are hoping she ovulates. Um, she was bred to another head lavender. So she's going to be my key to dreamsicles. Her follicles are, last time we checked, were 28 millimeters. So, wish us luck on that one. Alright guys, before I end this vlog, um, again, you know, I'd like to say thank you to all of you guys. Appreciate all the love and support. Real quick, I need you guys to go check out uh, Ball Python Boulevard. He just, I just sent him out a snake yesterday. So if you guys want to see what he got, I'll put the link to the description down below so you guys can go check it out. And this is to all of you hog nose breeders and people that might know some real cool hog nose breeders that have some really cool stuff. Tina has been very obsessed with them lately. We um, definitely want to get one. So if you guys could send me a DM or an email if you guys breed them, if you guys want to sell any of them, we definitely would like to have a pair of hog noses or maybe 1.2. Um, we definitely, definitely want to get some. So if you guys could help me out, I'd really, really appreciate it. Uh, Tina's, like I said, Tina's been watching YouTube uh, videos on them. I mean, they're just fascinating little snakes. I've never owned one before. As you guys can see, I have a lot of ball pythons. So. Let me know if you guys can help me out with that. I'd appreciate it. And also, I've been getting a lot of emails and DMs about the live feeding with the rattlesnake. If you guys don't remember, um, I'm gonna put the um, the description on the, on the I'm gonna put the link on the description down below. The last video I did of the live feeding that went viral, I think it's over 180, like 100 and something thousand views. But I got so much DMs on it, and people have been asking me to do a video on just the live feeding itself. Uh, that'd be a lot of people, you guys. I mean, I got a lot of hate messages on it. To me. 
it doesn't bother me at all because dude snakes eat rats i mean frozen thought live whatever if he ate frozen thought i'd give him frozen thought but you know what he doesn't and it's just man it's just the way life is you know if you're out in the wild you think these snakes get to choose what they're going to be able to eat they just you know strike and start grabbing that's the way it is. So a lot of you people, especially animal lovers, I mean, you guys kind of contradict yourselves by saying, oh man, that's cruelty. No, it's not. Starving the snake would be cruelty, okay? So now that that's out of there, out of, out of, out of my system, let me know what you guys think. You guys think I should uh, do another live feeding of the rattlesnake? Comment down below and tell me yes. Um, for you guys who want to say no, go ahead and comment down below and say no. If we get more yes, I'll definitely do another one. Actually, I'm going to do another one regardless. So... Again, guys, thank you for all the love and support. Appreciate it. Until next time, bye.